Hello and welcome to this special 3DS Max 20th Anniversary Training brought to you by Digital Tutors, an Autodesk authorized publisher. Tutors has been providing the CG industry with high quality training for over a decade and have been privileged to teach millions of artists and professionals from a wide range of companies, as well as training faculty and students from some of the top art schools across the globe. In collaboration with Autodesk, Digital Tutors is very excited now to be able to teach you some of the very powerful tools and features found in 3ds Max and in Matchmover, as well as explaining how some of these tools can be incorporated into a motion graphics project. So for this training, we're going to be utilizing four Digital Tutors instructors, with each providing training in their core area of expertise. You'll start learning with Justin, who is our lead modeling instructor, and Justin's going to be teaching you about several of the very powerful modeling features found in 3ds Max, including the use of deformers, instancing your geometry modifiers, and importing splines from applications such as Adobe Illustrator. Now after that, Delano, our lead animation instructor, will walk you through several of the animation features found in 3ds Max, including keyframing techniques, using animation layers, as well as animating deformers within 3ds Max. My name is Kyle, and I'll be teaching you some of the dynamics features, including the use of particle flow, and how we can use that to create some really nice advanced particle simulations, creating realistic cloth behaviors in 3ds Max, as well as using forces like wind and gravity to control your dynamics. I'll also be taking you through several of the very powerful rendering features of 3ds Max, including how scene states and render elements can be used to render your scenes in multiple passes for compositing purposes. We'll also talk about how we can use glow and flare effects with our 3ds Max objects, and we'll also learn how Max scripting can be used to create dynamic text inside of 3ds Max, which can be directly controlled by some kind of an external database. Finally, Chris, our VFX instructor, will walk you through some compositing and enhancement techniques that we can use when assembling our rendered passes using Adobe After Effects, as well as learning how we can start to track our 3D objects onto live action footage using Autodesk Matchmover. So our goal with this training is to give you an overview of some of the tools and techniques that went into the creation of this motion graphics project and to help you incorporate these workflows into your own future work. For more training on 3ds Max and other Autodesk products, you can visit us online at digitaltutors.com where you can instantly access thousands of videos just like these.